Okay, so I just recently received a response to my video, I'm Leaving Atheism, which of course is a satire video meant to poke fun of, yeah, just ridiculous beliefs in Islam. I want to um, reply to I'm Leaving Atheism video. I almost got fooled that he was, you know, for real. Um, so, but anyway. <laughs> you and a lot of other people which, quite frankly, is disturbing. That was good, you yeah, making good impersonations and good, uh, good skits. Oh, thank you. Well, unfortunately, though, this is actually the most intelligent thing that you're going to say in your video. Um, I respond to each point uh, because it seems like you're an atheist and you... Actually, I'm agnostic. ...and analyze um, everything. So you started with point number one, and you claimed that uh, the Qur'an says that the earth was created before um, the universe. Well, actually, it's heaven. If you go to your tafsir reference that you put on the side there, too, it says, um, Okay. No, actually, 4111 clearly states in Arabic first. Which in English translates to, Moreover, he comprehended in his design the sky, and it had been as smoke. And he said to it and the earth, Come ye together, willingly or unwillingly. They said, We do come together in willing obedience. So, since this verse is describing the creation of the universe, it means that the earth was created before the universe. Oh, and also that the earth and sky can talk, too. What is this, like a children's book? So that's number one. There's no such thing as the, uh, the universe being created before the earth. Actually makes it very clear that the universe was there in the smoke uh, uh, state. The universe was never smoke. Okay, this is actually a layman's understanding of the creation of the universe. There is dust in the universe, and there are huge globs of par particles of matter, which due to gravity converge to form planets and the other celestial bodies. But it's not like the universe was just a giant vat of smoke. It, that's not exactly how it worked. And even if you could somehow twist it to mean that it was smoke in the way that the Quran is describing it the earth was also that would have also been included in that vat of smoke the, it's not like the earth was ever just this entity and then the smoke was this other entity and then God just pushed them together and what this actually is is a reflection of previous creation myths such as through Gilgamesh and various other Egypt, uh, Egyptian and various other cultural creation myths and how it's how it says that the earth and the sky were pulled together by a god or gods. So this is nothing new and this is absolutely nothing miraculous. Number two, you talked about the hadith of uh, Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him which is uh, narrated by Abu Huraira and I think it's reported by Bukhari and Muslim both. And the Prophet said, whoever purposely, um, let me see, no, that's not it, um, it's about the poison, right, so basically whoever eats uh, seven dates in the morning, he will not be affected, he will not be affected by magic or poison on that day, okay, this is not right, narrated by Saad, um, it's interesting because, you see, uh, the pragmatics of the language in Arabic, pragmatics in English means the use of the terms of the words, okay, so, Poison, for example, in English, if I say cigarettes is poison for me, right? Cigarettes is poison for me. Um, I'm not saying that I'm drinking poison. Like you just took a bottle of water and started drinking, saying, oh, this is poison and kind of mocking Islam. It does not say that. I repeat that. It says if you eat dates, you will not be affected by magic or poison. I mean, do you not understand how ridiculous this hadith is? I mean, first of all, magic magic you know 
it's it's difficult to um not make fun and laugh when i do these videos about islam because i mean this is one of the most how do i say this nicely ridiculous religions i've ever encountered i mean this is a religion that espouses the existence of genies genies even if you are the most ardent oh we should respect other people's beliefs and you know it, it, it whatever they say it's okay because that's what they believe and religion should be shielded from all criticism and all all kinds of things it's like that genies <laughs> i mean you just can't help but laugh until your stomach wants to explode you know I, I was talking to my mom about this and my mom is one of those politically correct people about you know respecting religion and all that stuff and even she was even she couldn't stop laughing when I told her that this religion seriously not even as metaphors seriously believes in the existence of genies and but they don't snatch things at night apparently despite what the hadith says oh jesus christ For the last point is the issue that the earth um is flat that the quran does not say that does not make any reference whatsoever to that allah subhanahu wa says in this holy quran in chapter 71 verse 19 allah has made the earth for you as a carpet spread out now if you want to get the full meaning of the verse you got to read the next verse they they may go about their in in spacious roads okay so if you read verse 20 it says what does it mean what's the reference what the what's the usage of the word again go back to pragmatics what did he mean did not say he made the earth a carpet did not say he made the earth flat he said he made it as a carpet the quran absolutely says that the earth is flat if you look at tafsir al jalilan it it says that god has made the earth a flat open expanse for you and you say and you're going to say oh that's just that one verse oh that's not what it really meant which is basically what your entire video is you know it says this but what it really means is that you know that common christian you know, christian explanation that's that's really a, a common theist explanation really for errors obvious errors in their tomes but even if you i mean let's look at the other verses if we look at 15 19 Surah 18 verse 7, Surah 19 verse 6, Surah 21 verse 30, Surah 35 verse 40, Surah 41 verse 10, Surah 43 verse 10, Surah 50 verse 7, Surah 51 verse 48, Surah 55 verse 10, Surah 78 verse 6, Surah 79 verse 30, Surah 88 verse 20, all say or imply in some way or another that the earth is freaking flat i challenge you to find two verses in the quran that say that the earth is not just round because that's important but spherical okay because this is round but it's not spherical so god of the universe hopefully would have known that the earth that which was his creation was spherical so find the two verses that explicitly say that the earth is spherical not that clouds bs or that shoddy translation that says goose egg which is more of an oval but a verse that says something along the lines of he made it the earth spherical. It's your defense of these ridiculous beliefs and ideologies is just amazing to me. I mean, you don't come off as a stupid person. You come off as a naive person that accepts dogma, but you don't come off as a stupid person. And it's shocking to me that you won't apply the same critical thinking skills that you've acquired since you said you have some knowledge in science to 
your theology. And I'm not saying that you should turn science into your God. You know, there are a lot of atheists that do that. But I'm not saying you should have science to your God. I don't have a problem. If you do believe in a God, I don't have a problem with that. But when you try, when you choose to turn off that critical thinking mechanism to your own religion and dogma, do you not see how you're hurting yourself more than anything? Because if you believe in Islam, that's fine. It doesn't hurt me. You know, it, it's just more entertainment for my subscribers. But what you're doing is you're hurting yourself more than anything and so that's what i really want you to think about if you watch this video